This item here is a constant pressure valve which is fitted on the E36 M3, the M road stuff, and the S54 engine. It's fitted on the S50 B32 engine, but it's not believed to fit, be fitted on the S50 B30. So it's only on the Euro M3s. Now, what it's believed it does is that it maintains oil pressure at the top of the engine. Now, when you get a leak at the rear of the engine, people think quite correct, well, quite logically, really, they think it's a rear main oil seal that's leaking. But sometimes, and apparently quite often, it's these that are leaking. And what happens is, after, over time, because it's so close to the exhaust manifold, or uh, as it's called in America, the header, because it's so close to the oil manifold, I suspect the heat from the manifold is affecting the O-ring. The and the O-ring fails, and it starts to leak. Now, I also personally, and this is only my personal opinion, I suspect that when these fail, because of the lack of oil at the top of the engine on startup, it could be a contributory factor to Vanos failure. This is um, an S50 M Roadster, S50 B32. Apparently the constant pressure valve is not on the S50 B30. It's only on the S50 B32 engines and the S54 engines. It's located, located down here somewhere. Okay, it's totally impossible to get to from the top of the engine unless you take off the, man um, the exhaust manifolds. But from underneath, you can get to it. What I'm going to show you is the oil leak. Now, I've taken the belly plates off, but it's a cardboard hanging around the engine, just to obscure the number plate. There's nothing significant about them. I've taken the belly plates off, and even though there's bright sunshine around, it's still quite dark underneath here. Now, what you can see is uh, the oil that's coming from the from the valve. Now, to all intents and purposes, it looks like a rear main oil leak. Most of oil at the back of the engine, and several actual proper drips. There's a proper drip just there. Let's point it more a little pointy stick. There's a drop of oil just there a drop just there so it's all looking as if it's coming from the rear of the engine okay I'm now going to point towards the constant pressure valve here is the core plug approximately number six cylinder to the rear of it is what looks like a screw, a blanking plug, just there. Now hopefully when you actually look at your own cars you'll be able to see there's a screw just in this position here. That is the constant pressure valve. Hopefully you saw the oil coming out of the back of the engine there. Now, something quite significant I just noticed in the video was that the oil didn't come out instantaneously, which indicates that oil pressure had been lost from the top of the engine. Now, if oil pressure had been maintained, that oil would have come out instantaneously of the engine being switched on. So that goes to show just how important it is that that constant pressure valve doesn't leak. In order to remove the constant pressure valve, you need a slot drive. 
No, you would think a screwdriver would be good enough, but apparently a screwdriver isn't what the tool to use for this because it's in far too tight and there's limited access. Now what I have here is a flat blade screwdriver bit out of an impact socket site um, set and I'm going to machine it so it's a firm fit in the slot as you can see it's not a very good fit there so I'm going to take some measurements and do a bit of grinding and the machined screwdriver bit the, uh, the slot is 3 millimeters wide and 4 millimeters deep as a screwdriver adapter was based on an 8 mil hex any 8 mil socket type tool can be used to uh, remove the valve you do need the length of the 3 8 breaker bar to initially break the seal but after that I suggest an 8 mil socket 8 mil ratchet ring spanners open ended uh, open ended spanner or any such uh, any such tool um, when you get the valve out you can see that the old valve the OD of the outside diameter of the oil seal is very similar to the outside diameter of the valve on the new valve the outside diameter of the o-ring is about two millimeters bigger than the outside diameter of the valve so hopefully there'll be some good sealing there when you remove the valve this is the amount of oil you lose now there's going to be there's a little bit more oil than that not a great deal more maybe about another third that I wasn't able to catch and um, so that oil is going to have to be replaced don't forget to oil the oil seal before you put it in after refitting the valve I removed the Vanos filter using 4.5mm Allen key filled the Vanos with engine oil so it was overflowing, wiped off the excess, put the Vanos filter back in put about a quarter of a litre of oil in the filler uh, cap and I've run the engine not revving it, just running it idle speed for about two or three minutes switched it off, allowed the oil to drain checked the dipstick and the dipstick's on maximum as it should be and that's it belly plates on job done